The world's greatest billionaire slash troll, Elon Musk, uh, made his huge announcement that we've been waiting for all week, if not poorly conceived idea of the D, and Elon Musk bringing the D to all of us at insane levels. It, literally everything improves about the car with dual motor. Uh, there's, there's, no, there's no sort of technical drawback in this case. You know, it's like ha having your own personal roller coaster that you can just <laughs> use at any time. Uh, so that, uh, I mean, it's, it's really mind-blowing. In fact, the, the target that we had for performance was to try to meet uh, one of the greatest, uh, the, the, the acceleration of one of the greatest supercars of all time, which is the McLaren F1. And so we were able to actually achieve a, a 3.2 second zero to 60. Yeah. Yes, giving us all the D. So let's showing let's us get all of his way. D. No, we're gonna keep going with it. Like, yeah, let's just no run way. with it. Listen, it's you gotta just pick it up now. and run with it. You have to pick it up and run with it. So yeah, the Tesla D that happened this week. They they unveiled the D, as you will. That's like a big hilarious in joke on on so the internet we were we had been wondering you know what is this big announcement that's coming from tesla uh usa today kind of broke embargo and announced what it is before the big announcement but it's an all-wheel drive a uh, car that features many autonomous elements but not fully full autonomy like uh well previously elon musk has been had been saying you know i want to reach 90 percent autonomy in tesla vehicles very soon not quite there yet, not no. quite there yet, but some really neat features in these new models. So there's now, uh, there's an all wheel drive Model S that you can get. Mm -hmm. And then there's also now this, um, it's dual motors in a, in a Tesla. So instead of just one, now you have two. So that's the D, the D is for dual. And uh, it's- No, it, it's not, but go ahead. Is it? What is no, the D it, for? I'm, I'm joking. Well, yeah, I mean, we all know, we all know. <laughs> Elon, even, El I like that Elon Musk tried to pass off the fact that he's like, I didn't know. He tried to like play dumb about it. And I'm like, you knew exactly to not know that. Exactly what you were doing, anyway, Elon. It um it is ha can reach sixty miles per hour in about thirty three seconds. Three seconds. Yeah, three point two seconds, which is very fast, especially I mean, considering it's an all electric vehicle, that is insane and yeah. hilariously insane one of the drive modes yes. that you can actually put the car in there that is an official driving modes available yeah. which are normal sport and insane yeah. next will be ludicrous <laughs> Let's go uh, with ludicrous. So speed. we have uh, hardware including forward looking radar, image recognition cameras, a 360 degree ultrasonic sonar. Uh, we thought that be we'd be talking more about the uh, the, the Model X which yeah. is the SUV, but we don't know anything about that yet. Even though, is it due out first quarter 2015? I think, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I think we all thought that they were going to unveil the production model of the X, mm -hmm. uh, which is still supposedly gonna have those crazy gull wings on there, like those vertical opening wings and all this other stuff. Big I surprise. do feel bad for people who bought Teslas like last week though. Listen, <laughs> it's still, a great car that many people, including myself, will envy. Uh, the price, though, seems to be very high when you put all the kits aboard it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even the base model, I think, is 70000 And then it's, you know, once you put all the bells and whistles on, you're looking at a pretty pricey ride. I mean, not that 70000 is cheap in any way, shape, or form, but it is not going to be, it is not going to be inexpensive to get a Tesla Model D, uh, mm -hmm. to get a D. Uh, and I just really love this concept of the autonomous driving you were saying he wants to get tesla cars to 90 percent autonomy and i think with self-driving cars google's really made a lot of strides in that arena and i think elon musk is really hoping he can also do the same thing mm -hmm. uh some of these features that they're saying that you're going to be able to do some of them don't seem legal at this point and we're working toward legalization can you let, let's talk more about that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he did mention uh, being able to sort of summon your vehicle from the garage. And I love this idea of that we all have these garages that are, you know, 200 yards from our house. It's like, oh, the carriage house. Let me just get my Tesla. Uh, but it, it, the car, he says, on your private property, you'll be able to summon the car. You can't do that. Like if you, for example, 
park your car on the streets of Los Angeles and then walk out of a restaurant. You can't just summon it like the Batmobile. That will not be a legal thing probably for a while. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I just imagine so many scenarios with valets getting run over and just traffic accidents. It seems like a terrible idea to let, I mean, although if there's anybody who could do it, I would imagine it would either be Google or Tesla. So I, like mm -hmm. there are companies that I feel like I could trust to implement that type of tech. I mean, we, they are able to help you parallel park. There's like a lot of assistive yeah. uh, automated technology in here. So you want to parallel park, you don't know how, or you're really bad at it, which yes. I know a lot of people in Los Angeles who are very terrible at parallel parking. Uh, this car will help you do that. And there's, our, there's, you know, Mercedes, I believe, has that. There's a lot of cars a, out there. There's a Ford model that does that. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of cars out there that have this type of technology. And I think he's just looking to sort of make it more sophisticated and also add to it. So this is just kind of amplifying these sort of automated processes. So overall, how do you feel about this announcement from Elon Musk and, and per also his big picture idea? I think this is really impressive. Uh, the D model actually increased the efficiency of the car, so it actually gets 10 more miles on its range as opposed to decreasing it, which is kind of what you would expect if you're... Because it's so high performance. Right, it's so high performance you would imagine, okay, I'm probably going to lose some range on this, I'm probably... No, and not the case at all. It actually increased the range by 10 miles to 275 miles, which is really impressive. And so I think uh, they've got this new battery factory spinning up in Nevada, uh, I think they're really kind of ramping up at this point to Do kind of think make a run at it. More for um, the the three, which is supposed to be you know the cheaper. Well, it's it's definitely cheaper economy <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> I know we really has economy is sort of a it's a weird thirty five thousand dollars starting is not exactly an economy no, car to a lot to not. most people to myself included. Yeah, I, um, but. I, like, I think, yeah, I, I, I agree. I think this factory is really kind of the start of them ramping up and really pushing for uh, full, you know, not dealerships, but really getting the Tesla into, you know, mass a a adoption. This, mm -hmm. is, this is the tipping point. I would imagine this factory is like the start of that tipping point. So I think the X first, and then obviously the Model 3 after that. But I really do... I really am excited about it. I think this is really cool, and I love that he's made all of the, you know, all of their research and everything. They've made open source, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping other car companies will follow suit and and really take from that open source uh, decision a lot of good information and make great, more efficient cars. All right. Well, what do you think, audience? Do you want the D? Or, uh, but rather, what I'm asking you is, how how do you feel about Tesla's plan to move forward with uh, not only their their line of cars, but also their model for changing the car industry as a whole, and also in many ways the transportation system as a whole. Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.